Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 9. It's episode 9 of the Good Enough po- Podcast. How's it, how's it going, Jackson? Fuck you. Holy crap, I'm in Fortnite! Guys. Meth addicts. Yeah. Uh-huh. Heroin junkies. Fuck. Yeah. Did you guys Chuckle watch that? Sandwich. Okay, we, okay oh, we Chuckle need to talk Man about this beef. right now. We got beef. Listen, Fuck We got man beef. We have double beef now. We have double beef now. Fucking Burger King, home of the Whopper. What's your beef, bro? Actually, I cannot believe that we. I used to be a fan of these fucking terrible, awful, horrible people that those I those motherfucking even motherfuckers stand anymore. Dude. God, like, I hate them so much. I, 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 I hate them. I hate them. Not only it, it was not enough for them to copy the three three white guys talking about music, but they yeah, start doing they bits that. to open their show. Yeah, and the yeah. thumbnails. Yeah. By the way, thing. put put the thumbnails, the thumbnails on the screen right now. Put Literally them on the screen right now so people can see. That the we diagonal was the same. Yes, oh. everything about it is the same. Everything that we have done to build up this podcast to be its own unique thing. Jay, Jay Slat and all the rest of those idiots were just like, hey, you know what? Hey, 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 you know what? It, 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 it's ours now. It's ours now. Fuck them, dude. I thought for, I'm like, yo, I'll check it out. I'll watch it. I'll see what's up. Those pieces of shit, dude. Actually. Man. Their first episode and you know what? was a month ago. You know what? Let's, let's get more particular. January 30th say, was their first oh, yeah, episode. You know and when I, our first what episode was? When was our first episode of Lukey Pookie? It was like two weeks before that. It's awesome. <laughs> so it's January eighteenth. Obviously... That well, is what I'm saying. That is just... uh, I, I'm thinking and we recorded thinking, it so much like... earlier too. We had to say And we did, like way so earlier. Like two weeks January, earlier. Beginning Literally. of January. <laughs> About wow. I'm So here's I'm what living. I'm saying. Look, they have the audacity to steal our thumbnails, to steal the three white guys talking, and to steal uh, our intro bits, and so you know what I'm saying? I'm stealing Charlie's bit. Fuck you, I'm eating salad now. Aha! Uh-huh. Yes, finally. I'll eat some fruit. I'm I'll, gonna uh, fuck. I'm gonna... I wanna be like the, the Ted guy. I'll, I'll be like Ted. I don't know what he does, but I'll, <laughs> I'll be like him. Jackson's gonna choke on his kale. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Why did that make you, you laugh him, so dude. hard? You got him. <laughs> I broke him. Out, bro. <laughs> I broke Jackson. I don't know what that Ted guy does. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I hate those fuckers. Damn. Jackson, you're the Ted oh, of this I podcast. I just choked on lettuce, bro. Don't fucking say that, bro. <laughs> hey, and you know what's you know what's the worst part about this whole thing? They definitely know we exist. I mean. I mean, look at us. Obviously. I have obviously almost 500 subscribers. Everyone knows who Luke on Demand is, obviously. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm pretty much famous. Dream who? God, I, 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 I literally say. cannot, cannot wait to rewatch this just so I can laugh at that joke again. Because that's... <laughs> <laughs> laugh at the joke. That's such a beta male strategy. <laughs> yes. All well, right, I guys, laugh at I was joke just... just once when you could laugh at it twice. <laughs> Classic comedy. <laughs> Anyways, what's up, guys? Uh, I have a I have a little question. Just because we were talking about this earlier, but uh, sitcoms other than other than Dog with a Blog, let's not talk about that. This <laughs> other than Dog That's with a Blog, I like right that Jackson, idea. I like where this is going. What are, what are some what are some sitcoms that like are really popular, but you just hate with all your being? Like you just cannot stand it. Oh, I know where this came from. Um, I know we were just talking about this, but I'm, I'm saying, um, Big Bang Theory. Fuck Big Bang Theory. Unfunny as shit. <laughs> it's overrated it's, as hell. It's the same, it's the same shit every episode. It's like, uh, it's like, hey, Penny, hey, Penny, hey, Penny. And Penny's like, what? I'm the dumb one. And then, and uh, then what's his, Sheldon Benny. goes, Bazinga. Benny. And then the episode Benny. ends. <laughs> I love that video. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> the Big <laughs> Bong Theory. I think Benzinga. that's what the video is called. <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> Bazinga. A golden a Golden Globe winner, mind you. Really? That's true. Yeah. Who created it? Also show? friends. Probably some idiot. I'm, th- I'm, I'm, I don't I'm know, throwing actually. friends under the bus as well. <laughs> uh I'm you know what I'm going with? I'm going with friends. Most overrated Yes, agreed. Dog crap show. I never really dog watched shit. it. It's like it's like the white mother like peak of television. 
That's like every yeah. white mom's favorite show. Because my mom loves Friends. I should know. She is very white. Chuck if you, if we were to, if, if we were to say like 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 the Office is like almost every Gen Z kid I feel like has watched the Office, but I feel like every yeah. millennial white woman has watched Friends. Yeah, that's like the ex- that's almost yeah that's pretty much that's a really good comparison actually. It's the same yeah. thing. Yeah, Look but the Jay Office is like here. infinitely fucking better. So yeah, Should I go well, the Office, <laughs> It's not. It's the Office uh, is uh, not uh. like some dumb like. Or the office is like creative with it, you know. It's like a mockumentary. Friends is literally like, oh, let's put in a laugh track, and they're and they're friends, but then they're they, then they're they cu- said a funny. Couple. They they did they're, funny. They're couple. And this then, is the part. In case you forgot, this is the part where you're supposed to laugh. laugh. Right now is when this you is laugh it. at my joke. Right holy now, crap, you know because crap, everyone else is doing crap. it. Fucking sheep. Fucking sheep. sheep. Think for yourselves. Hate Unbelievable. This. Free hate thinkers this. when they say this. urinal. <laughs> ha. Ha. Yeah, couldn't be me. Jake, what's your pick? <laughs> okay, good pick. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? I don't know. My Did AirPods die? have died. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> fool. I was like, something's gone wrong. Fuck you, Luke. <laughs> Jake right back April after fool. this short Jake commercial break. Fool. Are you sick and tired of your boring old pets being painfully uninteresting? Do you wish that your dog could groom women on the internet? Well, boy, do I have a show for you. Introducing Fido, the Discord admin. Watch the incredible story about a pooch turned power hungry over a virtual room filled with puberty stricken teenagers. Starring Lin Manuel Miranda as Fido, MC Ride as himself, and Luke on Demand as Fido's little kitten. Tune in every Saturday at 13 o'clock a.m. Only on MTV. And welcome back. We should- Luke stole my bit for having earbuds, and I'm fucking pissed off. <laughs> earbuds. <laughs> I'm upset. Earbuds. You go back to those wired bullshit. I remember Airbud. Yeah, that's, that's a fucking Air great movie. I was obsessed with those, bro. I watched all the Airbud movies and all the Air Buddies movies because they were like spinoffs. <laughs> they were like, kids and shit. Yeah, that's bro. The- they were kids and they were like. I know. I remember specifically they were like in Alaska and they became like a dog sledding team. <laughs> Snow Buddies. That's what it's called. Snow, Snow Buddies, buddies. bro. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You just like you know they made. A, I think they made head. one. It was like. They, somehow they went from like air buddies where they were just playing sports and then they made snow buddies it's like oh it's believable they're race dogs and then they were like space buddies space buddies space. which was so out of the blue i was like what the just fuck and then nowhere. there was like the cosmonaut dog that was like russian and the crazy russian guy and like the cosmonaut like like whatever you call you're it you're thinking that movie not- where those monkeys go to space what's it called Space chimps. Space chimps. <laughs> space chimps. You know, you know why I know I've never that? Seen that I used before. to watch. I used to watch space chimps all the time. And apparently, there's a second space chimps that went there straight is. to DVD. Yeah. yeah. And apparently, it's really bad. But and apparently, it doesn't have the same voice actor either. Because I think it was Andy Samberg that voiced the main <laughs> monkey. Andy. I think, what? I think. What I is think he doing, so. man? Filming Hot Rod <laughs> Andy Two. Andy Samberg. I really hope. <laughs> <laughs> space chimps. I, space, space chimps. chimps. That space buddies cla- is better. Such a, space, space buddies is a classic. I'm just gonna say. Space it. chimps. Like I don't know what that. What was up with that movie? Like it's a movie that everyone has like heard of, but like it is not remembered for at all. Like just at all. Yeah, it sounds somewhat familiar actually, but I I can't remember a single fucking thing that happens in it. Oh shit! Uh, SpongeBob. It's been it. a while. SpongeBob Spon- and. Uh, Joe from Family Guy. <laughs> really? Voice <Yeah>. actors. <laughs> uh-huh. And he goes, what a hey, crossover. Peter. Hey, Peter. hey, Peter, I'm in space with a monkey. Yeah, Andy hey, Samberg Peter. was the original monkey. <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Peter from Family Guy. Look, check it out. <laughs> I'm <Damn>. in space. <gasps> hey, oh, my God, hey, SpongeBob Lois. plays Ham instead of Andy Samberg. Holy shit. Holy That's kind of based. Rap. Just a little based. <laughs> Is that cool wow. or what? Wow, look at that. We got a we got a cool guy in our hands, huh? Yeah. Look at him. Yes, look at well, that. Yes, See yes, the issue yes. is uh I tried to eat my ice pop but it disintegrated before my my very eyes. <laughs> so you I'm gonna it up instead. <laughs> but <Finally>. guys <laughs> I wanna yeah. get some pog champs in chat because I checked. The good enough podcast on Apple Podcasts has a five star rating. Holy oh! shit. No way! Wait, one is there person. A it was, it just was it one of you guys? No, it's just one. Was it one of you guys? No, nope. It wasn't me. I was Yo, taking, a, I was no taking a shit and listening to Come Town, and I was like, "Oh shit, 
What if the Good Enough Podcast <laughs> is on here? And I'm like, it is. And we're five stars, baby. I mean, five, damn, that's pretty much a hundred. That is. That's a hundred percent. Like we passed. That we're is. Passing we did. Colors. We so did. If anyone out there we would like it, to guys. leave a review on Apple Podcasts, five stars, please be please be our guest. Please leave a but review. But only five stars. But only yeah. it has to be five. If you want to do it, it has to be five stars. If you're going to give us four stars, I'm going to shit on your face. And yeah, there has to be up. a review. You have to write out a review. It doesn't need to be crazy detail. If you want it to be in detail, that, that would be cool too. But we yeah. will take anything. Just write a review because I think that'd be funny. I think. Please just, we'll take anything. <laughs> Please. Please I need for this. the love of God. I, come on. I, I, I need this, guys. This looks After so After Chuckle Sandwich took our... Took our entire viewer base. We've been going downhill. Oh my god! <clears throat> I don't even want to hear that name. It gets me so pissed off. <laughs> Stunned it anymore. God. Just makes me angry. God, 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 God. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. I just want to punch something. <laughs> Piece do it. Punch shit. your wall right now. Yeah. Do it, Kyle. Prove it. Take Kyle. a poop in front of us. I'll do it later. Take a poop in front of us, <laughs> and then turn it into wine. Ah. <laughs> uh. Comedy. God, we should. If someone, if someone had a dollar, gave me a dollar for every time we referenced that in this podcast, I'd have two dollars. Dude, I spilled it. <laughs> awesome. I can't I'm gonna put it in my drink. Oh, Jake, you're so fucking. Smart. What is? What are you drinking? By the what way, that drinking? looks like Blood? battery acid. Hmm. Like battery acid. Battery He's denying acid. the question. He's not answering it. A little it. bit. He pleads the fifth. This is this that is was the fucking visceral. disgusting. I'm gonna slurp it off my desk. <laughs> this is I don't know I don't know how to feel about this. Wow, I feel like don't think about it. It's fine. I feel like I want to go. I feel like I gotta go now. This is just ew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the science experiment. Oh God. Uh, what's a what's a topic that we could talk about? Jesus. Yeah. All right. So I was watching through YouTube, right? Like I normally do. Mm-hmm. As you and do. I saw, as you do. Uh, a pr- mineral ad, like an ad for it. And did yeah. you know that there's a documentary made by Discovery, the Discovery Channel, about fucking Onision? Really? By the Discovery Oni- Channel? Yes. I was I watching heard, it. I haven't thought about Onision. Oh, I did hear about this. Onision Chris in Hansen real is doing life, it, isn't he? Yeah. The documentary yeah. is called Onision in Real Life. And it's a documentary se- uh, like series on Onision. I have not heard or have wanted to hear about Onision in, f- like, uh, over a year. The fucking Discovery so. <laughs> Channel. Discovery Channel. Like, why? Why? Like, is this, like, a yeah, Shane that's... Dawson type thing where they're trying to make you feel empathy for him? Or are they just going to be like, ah, let's expose this guy? And it sounds like it sounds like a true crime thriller. Like, how they paint, like, serial ki- killers and yeah, mass murders. It kind of sounds well, like do that. You, I didn't watch, remember, I watched the trailer. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Do you remember, like, Chris Hansen was, like, doing his own investigation on it for, like, a minute, and then, like, he went to his oh, house yeah. and it's because, just didn't answer? It's because apparently Chris Hansen was, like, exposed for, like, actually not being good at his job or some shit like that. Or it was something. <laughs> really? Not <exposed laughs> your something. bad. It, it wasn't even that. It was something way worse, but I just remember, like, he was pretty much outed from TV for a long time, and he tried moving to YouTube, and that was, like, the big thing. He was like, ah, look at me. Ah, I'm getting Onision. That's what I'm doing, guys. And yeah, I remember like Eddie or something made a, Eddie Burback made a video about it his YouTube channel because it was like literally looked like shit. Like it was like all the videos were in like 320p and like you can like <laughs> it looks like barely Jackson's hear webcam. Him. It, it literally, I'm not even, I'm not kidding. Right. It looked like my webcam, but like worse. Like, like okay. there was like borders to the videos and shit. It looked like someone filmed it on like <laughs> I feel like I don't webcam. know a raisin. That's yeah, I, my webcam. That's really funny. I like to imagine like just like a famous like celebrity. <clears throat> joins YouTube one day, but it's not like, but it's not like the Rock type deal where it's like he has this whole team helping him do it, and it's like really PR to shit. I just want like a celebrity to join. They don't tell anyone about their channel. They just start from scratch, and they have like the lowest quality setup of all time. That's Jack Black, baby. Funny. You're describing Jack oh, Black, yeah, Jack Black. right now, man. Jablinski well, Games. Well, Jack Black, he like shouted it out and everything, and he has his son edit. So it's like pretty. It's still pretty homegrown, but I really yeah. Just, which, by well, the way, I, that's it's cool as fuck to have your son edit your shit. Like that's I I'm I'm, I'm a yeah. I'm that is, Jack Black did you guys though. hear that what is, happened with Jack cool. Black's son? Hold on, let no, me finish. No, don't tell me. Let me finish that this. Happened. Let me finish this. All right. I just want a celebrity join YouTube and not tell anyone, and I just want people to be like, oh shit, it's fucking a uh, Jackie Chan. He's on YouTube. <laughs> He's so star. old and sweet. I'd love to have him on YouTube. He's just so nice. Yeah, he, he, he's a cool guy. He's, he's almost died so many times. He's just happy to be alive. Which he's I just like, man, how the fuck did I get here? Did yeah, you know he's dude. the spy next door? 
He's the dog with the blog. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! We're not talking about it this episode. Oh, no. It's inescapable. If there's I could also, go back in time and change one thing, it would be not telling you guys about that. There's also a certain dark skinned Manson that we're not going to bring up this podcast because we're going to go yeah. one fucking podcast without talking about him. We're going yeah, that's to. A good we are. Point. That's a good point. <sighs> anyway, oh. wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I gotta know what's what happened with Jack Black's son. Oh, so a while yeah. back, right? <laughs> he was being a naughty boy, right? He was uh, getting sent inappropriate photos by a lady. And accidentally oh, no. leaked them on his Instagram. Oh, how do you oh, accidentally? No. How okay? How do you accidentally leak something? He was sending it to a group chat and put it on his story instead. Oh no! So problem number one is sending it to a group chat would yeah. seem to be either way not the either best way. Move. It's illegal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, either they way, both, not they were great. both underage. I'm pretty sure. So I don't uh, think there was anything still, illegal. Still, it was just kind no, of no. It's still illegal. It's yeah, still illegal. Point. Because it's, that rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, yeah it's just a uh, sin. Sorry to sully the name of the good. Uh, Man, I was so. Uh, Evan Black. What's his name? I don't know. I Jack. He has, he has two. There's the older name. one that you're talking about, and there's the younger one that's like really spazzy and weird. I don't know. It's Jack <laughs> Black's weird. son is his name. That's it. That's yeah, Jack. <laughs> Jack Black's son Black is his full name. <laughs> Thomas son and Black. Samuel. <laughs> his name. We know everything about Thomas their children. Samuel. He has two. Like, one is Thomas and one is Samuel. Wait. What? What, Jack? I cannot hear anybody right now. <sighs> oh, my God. I didn't God. even do anything this time. The mic didn't get unplugged. I swear to God, I didn't do... Okay, you hold can. on. I'm I'll be back in one second. Baba Bowie. Hello. Oh, fun. Are we good? <laughs> Baba Bowie. Can't nah, hear us. I can't hear us. Bro, I can't even hear any audio from my computer. Yeah, even like videos us. or like anything. Could, I cannot hear shit. Huh. Baba Bowie. Yeah, Definitely big enough ball, time. Big gay balls. Big gay balls. Hey, what's up, guys? Anyway, uh, I want to talk about something with you guys. Uh, uh, music. Isn't that crazy? Music. <laughs> you, yo, you said it. I mean, you we said never, it. We never talk it. about it for some reason on this nah, on this podcast. But yeah, for what have you guys listened to lately? Oh, dude, Radiohead, The Benz, is bad. Oh, yeah, you... I don't huh. like The Benz. You don't? I don't. So, I, I, I was don't. just... I got a little excited, because I like The Benz. I don't <laughs> like The Benz. <laughs> but, <laughs> you, know, you, you, two can, you two can argue about this, because Gamer I have fight. actually... <laughs> what, uh, what, 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 I like, thought, uh, what, are there, what are the songs that you do like? Where can right. we agree? I have it on my... My handy dandy smartphone excellent. here. See, I haven't heard the bins, so this is all YouTube. I listened to the bins today, bins. and I was like, not okay. The, not the band YouTube, but. <laughs> so, <laughs> my favorite songs from the bins are Planet Tell X, which is the first song, yeah. Just, Bulletproof I Wish, and the last track, Sp uh, Street Spirit. As long as Just is on there, then I'm okay. Just is good. I fucking love that song, and the music video slaps as well. I'm just not, like, I think because I know what Radiohead would evolve into. Just, like, the old, like, alternative rock type beat just wasn't jiving with me. The, yeah, that, look, I'm not going to give you shit for it because it's not, look, we're not, uh, you're, you're definitely right where it's like, okay, this is an okay computer, this isn't Kid A, this isn't in Rainbows, but it's not, I don't think it's a bad album. I just think, I think it's a, it's a pretty good album, and it's got some good songs. We'll agree to you disagree on that one, Jackson Burns. Fair. 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 <laughs> fair. Yeehaw. Opinion yeah, accepted. Boy. I'm going to get bullied I now. Just, <laughs> I just listen to Body Snatchers, and that's it. Bear. That's the only Radiohead, that's the only Radiohead <laughs> song I need. Actually, cool. no, I take that back. My favorite Radiohead song is not Body Snatchers, it's not Weird Fishes, and it's not Paranoid Android or any of those like popular picks. Video I'll tape. tell you. No. Burn My the favorite Witch. Radiohead song... Is the, the one so where it goes. My favorite Radiohead song is the one that goes. It's funny because it's a mute. It's a Muse song. It's a Muse. It's funny because this is actually not a Radiohead song. This is actually a Muse song. Yeah, we've made this joke somewhere else. Have we really? We've definitely made this joke before. Not not on the podcast. Not on the podcast. I feel like you've made this joke. I've made jokes. I think I made this joke when we were planning it. But oh yeah. Podcast. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say I don't remember. Yeah, uh, yeah, that yeah. Happening. Idiotech is still the better. I listened to this Radiohead, uh, Radiohead song in my eyes. Hold on. <laughs> that is a that is a good pick. All right, so I'll Thank tell you, you what I listened to. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what I listened to recently. <laughs> uh, recently I listened to um, I listened to this album by an uh artist. It's on Bandcamp. Uh, called Nana Ray. And the album is Zapper, 
It's some really cool, uh, some like hardcore break stuff. It's it's dope, man. I I'm really loving that album. And then I also listened to uh, <laughs> this EP by this artist named Trey Cash, going straight in. <laughs> And it was it was not good. Go Where do you find in? these people? Where do you find uh, these people? So I got recommended the Nana Ray album, and I'd heard an album by Nana Ray called Tilt that came out last year that was okay, but this new one Zapper is way better. But Going Straight In by Trey Cash. I have I not talked about Trey Cash? I don't think so. Oh, oh, man. Man. Let life. me go. Let me go in. This is actually a backstory. <laughs> how do you spell oh, yeah, Trey? How Cash? do you spell so Trey, Trey Cash? Cash. Yeah. Trey Cash, all one word, but there's a dollar sign for the S. It's like classic, like ah uh, yes. Stuff. Oh yeah, I Trey see. Cash. So, so the reason I bring that up is because I know Trey Cash in real life, Uh-oh. and <laughs> Wait, the reason how? I do is because Trey Cash went to my school. He and we were on the same basketball team as each other. I oh. never, re- I never really knew him like best friends, but he, we were just on the same team or whatever. But that was when I was like, I had just joined the team and I was like the little sophomore and he was like the senior that was about to graduate or ever. So he just, he didn't give a shit about me, right? <laughs> so I think it's funny because in his music, you know, it's just like, it's just really bland, boring, like pop rap stuff. Like right. little, it's, it's like, it's like a, if Juice little, World it's clone. like a little baby type beat. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so it's so funny because his music is like always talking about the classic stuff it's like man i came back from the bottom everyone doubted he actually has a song called doubted me where he talks about this it's his most popular song nice. and he's like and he's like man everyone was doubting me everyone was just going at, at me or whatever and it's like i came from the bottom i came from the bottom i had nothing man which is hilarious because at my school you know he's he a was liar. he was wealthier than the majority of the students <laughs> at the school. I won't say he was the richest person there, but he was well off. That's the best, but, bro. When you and, catch rappers and, and lying oh, up the so fucking funny. ass. And, and he also... <laughs> and he also was the most respected, like, universally liked person at the school. Like, one of <laughs> So, the song Doubt at Me is complete just crap. But, like, you know what? It's whatever. Like, I know the guy, so it's funny. It's, it's sort of funny because I've turned Trey Cash into like sort of an inside joke with a lot of like <laughs> friends that I talk with music about, and he has no clue. Trey he Cash. has no That's idea. That's so funny. That's so Trey funny. Trey Cash, get, you just got get... hit by the character assassin, I, Luke Stone. I will say, I will say, I, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's a nice guy. I like him. I'm just, I just think that's really funny when he, when, he, when he raps about that stuff. However, I will say this. I listened to his EP, and... Every single track that I rated was just, I either didn't like it, or I just thought it was boring, or I was like, meh about it. Except for the last song on the EP. On the last song on the EP for Trey Cash's Going Straight In, the last song, Take Flight, lyrically and like performance wise, it's bland as the, like the other songs are. However, the beat is like future bass inspired. Like there's a future bass synth. And there's like future bass, like a, a future bass bass line. It's sick. Huh. And if he just, if it went like full on, like future bass electronic beat, it honestly would have gone so hard. But instead it was, it was just a rap beat. Uh, Luke, I'm looking through rate your music right now. And I looked up your, your thing. Do you know that you have a, like an artist profile on rate, on rate your music? Yeah. It's cause I made an album cover for, um, oh. I sh- showed it to you. Yeah, oh, I made, okay. it, I oh, I made oh, an for, album for uh, for Diplopantics. Yeah. yeah, I made. An I didn't al- know that this, they, this is fun. I can talk album about cover this. artists. Shit, bro. Yeah, well, uh, you, yeah, you can just link it or say like this person made the album cover. But yeah, um, Diplodocus on on Discord, uh, which is one half of Diplopantics, was like a, uh, hey, can I um, can you make this album cover? Because I'd been drawing stuff in MS Paint. Or whatever. Which, by the way, we people. are still waiting for our oh yeah, I'll do MS that. Paint I'll do drawings. That. Yeah, I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, by I'll the do way, that. don't worry. <laughs> uh, but they were like, yeah, uh, I can I can make you uh, a cover, and I'll actually show you the cover right here. Very proud of it. Um, <laughs> yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, you but, did good on that. Yeah, it took me like four hours because I had to do realistic shading in MS Paint, which is way harder than you think it is. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I got a I got a rate your music um uh credit on it, which is pretty you, cool. You gave so. Trey Cash going straight in a four out of ten. 
I did because because it was I didn't like it, but it wasn't like insultingly bad. It was just meh. It was like about, it was like it was about. like I didn't like it because of how meh it was, but it wasn't meh to the point to where I gave it a five. You know what I mean? I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have recently been listening to. By the way, I just want to bring this up. I'm surprised Luke didn't. Uh, Squid, your your song of the year. Best fucking song that has come out this it year. It is the it most is underrated post-punk song I've ever heard in my entire life. Yes. Ooh. Most See, overrated. Overrated, I mean. Overrated. Oh, overrated? I mean, overrated. Well, no! Most overrated no, post-punk song no, I've ever heard. No, no, Most overrated I've ever heard. Most because everyone, it came out, right it came today. out, and everybody acted like it was the best thing since goddamn Cheese came out. And, and it just wasn't. It was good. They have it. It was a bread. good song. It was a good song. It was not good. what everyone made it seem. It's fantastic. It was a good song. It you, was song explain, of the year. No, 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 no. Can no, you no. explain why you think it's just a good song? I already know what your song of the year is. It's the new version of Sunglasses for you. That's right. Well, actually, I'm kind of on the fence between that and Science Fair. Holy crap. Okay. Holy but. crap. But um, <laughs> look, 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 Luke. I I got. I woke up in the morning and I get this ping from Luke tagging me and Jake. And he says, holy shit, you guys got to listen to this new fucking song, Easily Song of the Year. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll give it a listen. This sounds very good. And uh, first half was just not, it, it, it was it was a little slow for me. I can't believe you just said slow. The first, the first, the first, the first, the first bit was, was uh, look. Do you mean slow to beat up or like, or slow to pick up or like just the, the tempo in general? Cause like it is slow to pick slow. up. Or slow to pick up. I, I mean, he, I don't understand he, he, that either. But he, he, here's what I'm saying: there, there's a build up, right? And then there's the big part of the end. Am I, am I just am I just misremembering? No, I mean, yeah, yeah, you're right. There's a huge. There is, and I don't think I don't think I don't think I don't think that the climax was uh, worth the build up. What? Maybe, maybe when, when the fucking didn't hit me vocalist hard. is losing her goddamn <laughs> mind, shrieking? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Jake, it's like Jake, ex- Jake. It's an explosion of sound. It is literally the most manic shit I've heard all year. No, Jake, you've heard it, right? Jake, you've I, heard I it. think I heard it like once, but I, <laughs> I don't have strong enough opinions <laughs> like you two. Look, I, I'm, right. I don't even have that strong of an opinion. I'm just saying I think it's a good song. I'm, I'm just saying I think it's a good song. Just say it's. I just don't think that it's close <laughs> to being song of the year for me. I think that dude, every song dude. off of for the first time ever blows it out of the ball out of the water. All right. I mean, that's a great album. All right. I'm ending the podcast. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Song, we're, oh my, we're done. It's just so like uh, the fucking bass line at the beginning is so funky. The The drummer is the singer. That's insane. Like, that's cool. But that doesn't the, give it extra points for being. Yeah. But I'm just cool. saying like it makes it even more impressive because not only are the drums nuts on the track, but the vocalist is killing it, too. So it just adds it even more that that's the case. Because Look, I'll, I'll re-listen to amazing. it. I'll re-listen to it tonight, and I'll tell you if my opinion changes. But as of right now, I think that it's just a good track. I give it a seven. I give it a seven, which is not a bad review. I still like the song. I know, I know, but it's just, I'm I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> okay. Okay. But now I gotta save the songs that I'm listening to because I'm listening to some bangers lately. First of all, Armor by uh, Jake, one Jake, Jake the Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> by okay, the way, cool. by the way, easily, your, in my opinion, your best song that you've put out so far. I fucking love that track. That was a banger and a half. <laughs> super chill super out jail. now, baby. Super chill's out now. Super chill <laughs> out now. <laughs> I hey, super chill out now. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the boy Del Nelson dropped a banger as well. Life is death. That was, was good. That yeah, was really fucking, good. Actually. I thought it was a great, uh, great first track. Uh, mm. Aphex Twin. I've been listening to some Aphex Twin lately. I don't, I don't know why. Window Liquor. Fucking great song. And, every time uh, I Alberto. every time I see you post that, it just sounds like a slur to me. I don't know why window liquor sounds <laughs> it like does. a bad word. Every, I, I, I know. I, every time I say it, I feel weird about it, but <laughs> we're safe. Uh, also, Alberto uh, Basam off of uh, I Care Because You Do. <laughs> Fucking great song. Uh, I've been listening to uh, more more Swans. Not more. No swans, way. To to all of it, but swans I've been I've been I'm not going back <laughs> to listen it. to all I, of I've, it. <laughs> I've been going back to the swans. I've been going back. I've been going back to the glowing man and leaving meeting a bunch. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Here. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, and Minecraft right Volume Alpha, a fuck ton actually. So like surprisingly alpha? more. Both actually. Alpha? Like usually, oh. usually I'll listen to both. Like 
just throughout the, the throughout the school day because I get bored of shit. I'm like, I listen to all of Alpha and then all of Beta because I'm have yeah. nothing else to do. Beta is a long ass album. It is, it is so a long ass album. Long. And intro yeah. is uh, it's completely in my opinion, worth it. C418's best song because I fucking love that song. <laughs> the thing about the thing about Beta that blows my mind it's literally two like almost two and a half hours and every single song in my opinion except for uh how do you pronounce it? It's like one of the discs. It's like Meloli or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. It's like the really slow one. I gave that a nine out of ten. But every other song is a t- is a ten. Have y'all heard a uh, pick step like the new disc? Yeah, by uh. That shit bangs, uh, dude. Lena, Lena. That shit I don't, bangs. Lena that shit Rainey, fucks. That shit fucks. That's what it's called. Yeah, Lena. Song. Something like that, Lena. It's a way different yeah. vibe, but I like it. I'm a fan. Me as well. Me yeah, as well. Yeah. 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 Good. But that's, yeah, it, uh-huh. that's, it, that's it for the yeah, music yeah, corner this yeah, week. I'm just yeah, gonna yeah. say it. I uh, spin it. Oh, wait, hang on. I want to shout someone out in the music corner real oh. quick. Okay. You know, I don't know if any of you have heard of her. Her name is Kelly Lee Owens. Came out Kelly. with a record. Kelly Lee Owens came out with a, uh, okay. an album, Inner Song. The beginning is slow, but goddamn, the rest of it's so pretty. I love it. It's like this That's like epic. weird electronic, like, it's like the classic electronic, like, Aphex twin, like, uh, loops and pads and shit like that. And she has, she sings on it. She has guest vocalists on it's just kind of fire i really like it so shout out kelly lee owens you said it's on it's on uh, her new album in her yeah, song in her song arpeggi well arpeggi is one of the not great ones. Ah, hang on ah. i'm going to the thingy all right so her best song is rewild i'll tell you the songs i like Arpeggi's good rewild jeanette line corner of my sky night and flow pretty much that Brick between uh, Jeanette and Flo are really fucking good. Kelly Lee Swag. Owens. Cool. I don't know, I don't know about gentlemen. you. I don't know about you, Luke, but I've been uh, coming back to death metal quite a bit as well since we first. I first Panchico. Listened. God. Yeah, Panchico. The, the story behind that is so sick, and it just so helps it cool. even more. It's so cool, and it helps it even more that the music is just like just as cool. You know. Do you prefer? Do like you if, prefer the rod, the rotted version? No. Oh, oh yeah, we've okay, no. we've talked about Panchico. No, yeah, I don't. I don't. You guys talking? I don't about? prefer. I don't prefer the rotted version, but I like like the vibe that it gives off. Right, it's like, cool, wonder, but the 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 regular version is I mean, much better. I think, in my opinion, I don't. I, I mean, I prefer it, but I like the rotted version a lot. It adds a lot to those first four. That whole EP. So. That's fair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh. Anyway, anyway, Jake, what are we talking about now? Injury Reserve. What about him? Oh, I don't I'm know. Done. I've just been listening to a lot of Injury Reserve. I really yeah, like it. R.I.P. Cool. Grogs, man. I know. That's unfortunate. That still is sad. That is so sad. I think I want to make a video on Injury Reserve. I don't know why. but I've just I'm been... still super upset that I can't make a clipping video. Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> well, really I mean, you can, to but like... No, you can't. Not really. Not like, what, I don't know what it. I'm going to talk about. Like, <laughs> Either don't make any money or good luck just not using... Make a video about the one time you told all your friends, "Oh, that's David Dig," and they're and they're like, "What? This is the guy from Sesame <laughs> this Street." This guy watches Jack Sesame, watches Sesame Street. Street. That's still really funny. <laughs> I was I literally yeah. just watched that today too. That episode. It's good. I said that. Yeah. That's that's awesome. Sesame but Street. Yeah. yeah, David. David, Diggs, <laughs> fuck you for making my fucking friends think that I casually just Street. drop. Yeah, I watched Sesame Street the other day. Yeah. <laughs> what letter was it? What what uh what letter? Oh yeah, it was definitely uh. V for visions of bodies being burned. Visions <laughs> of bodies being burned. <laughs> um, what letter? Uh, did you do? What letter do you guys think you did? Big gay balls. So B. That's not a letter, stupid. Oh, That's three fuck. different words. Dude, he totally Luke. You gonna take? You gonna take that shit, bro? He'll take it. He'll take <laughs> it. He doesn't have the balls. He doesn't He'll have the big it. gay balls to stand up to me. Whoa. <laughs> You guys want to know what's a trend that I thought would die by the time I brought it up? Yeah. Have maybe. you guys seen on TikTok the album cover thing where like people were just like take a Bro. screenshot from their video and make it an album cover? They that some of them might be are very the, very cool. S- but most of them s- most are the of them dumbest shit I've suck. ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> like, there's there's something about an album cover like you just know it when you see it. Like you, you can't know force it, it to be an album cover. So. And it just like I saw one the other day where it was literally just a girl going like this, and then it had like <laughs> sparkles. And I was just like, "On what fucking planet am Dude, I gonna watch that?" Listen the to that. worst, the worst fucking uh, what's the called the people that break the law? 
the worst criminals. Whatever. What do you mean, people that break I can't the law. think of the word. Whatever. <laughs> the the word the the worst person <laughs> that did it was fucking. It was like a gender reveal, and they're like, "Oh, my uh, my my uh, sister's gender reveal was so cool," and they dressed up in like a. There was a guy in a pink thing, and there was a guy in a blue Uh-oh. thing. They were fighting, and then the blue thing won. Like, oh, it's a boy. Blah. But every, right. like, ten oh, seconds dude. or so, it would screenshot the video and do the album cover thing for the entire video. It is oh, so shitty. God. And I'm like, Luke, you okay? I, I was going to let it go, but I didn't think it was going to be this long. Yeah. What if he froze? I can't tell, bro. He's I so, can't he, tell Every either. time he does this, he stands so still. I'm trying to look for anything in the 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 background, maybe. I'm gonna look for a text that says "I froze." Yeah, I know. Let me check my phone. Wait, we gotta oh make him laugh. God. We gotta make him laugh. Oh, I think of something Luke Luke comedy related. Something Luke dry as comes fuck. on demand. <laughs> I know he's holding that in, bro. Is he? I know he's holding <laughs> that in. Yo, what how dumb would like- we look if he's actually frozen? <laughs> bro, and we're just, we've just been talking this whole time. I'm looking at the Discord chat. Did you say anything? I, I no, can't say that shit. Oh, what? wait, what happened? What? Is it? I don't know. Maybe his screen. He's loading for me. <laughs> bro, what this the is the fuck worst is going podcast on? ever? I thought Luke was just Luke! doing like a really good bit. I thought he was committing super hard to the bit. <laughs> oh, wait. He actually... Oh, it actually froze. No fucking way. That's so goddamn funny. He froze in the perfect position. <laughs> Baba Bowie. Oh? A two-person what? A two-person two setup for... Set for I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his phone. Jackson, <laughs> you have a friend. <laughs> yes. Yo. Here we are. Oh, Luke, we thought you were just like super committed to the bit. No, I was. I was. But like, but like, but like super oh, committed. Like, hold on. Like, I, think, I think we might be. Oh shit! I think we might be good. <laughs> hold on. <gasps> Baba boy. Holy fucking shit, Logan. Hey! The Wi-Fi just died out of nowhere. No, so I oh. was I was in the middle of I was in the middle of the I was doing I was oh, doing no. this for like, I was oh, for like no. two minutes straight, right? Luke. It was so close. Yeah, oh, he froze at the worst possible anymore. moment, bro. He looks like See, this is a better moment to freeze at. Damn, yeah. What is happening? Why? Why is it doing <laughs> Dude. this? Oh fuck. This is the yeah, yeah. Baba boy. Uh? Uh? All right. Oh? Uh? Oh? Uh? Whoa! Oh, he lives. Why? God damn it. Luke, <laughs> you are you are something else, man. Yeah, now my connection. We have is, to when you're editing this, Jake, you have to put it you have probably. to put in the part where we rejoin and then he freezes again. Yeah. I'm going to make like a two man a two man setup. Yeah. <laughs> Now, um, all right, is my, does my, what the fuck were we talking about? Yeah. We were talking about, oh fuck. What were we talking about? You guys were talking about that uh, album covers trend where people show the album covers. Oh, fa- okay. For real. Yeah. 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 Hey, wait, wait, right, ready guys. I got to go take a piss. You guys talk about some of the worst uh, media that you've watched, whether that be TV shows or music videos discuss. Huh. Okay. You know what's my favorite subgenre of music video? Just like what? Hit me with it. I love the subgenre of music video where it's like the guy is like uh rapping in front of hot girls. <laughs> Definitely have never seen it before. <laughs> Literally so original, favorite. honestly. Uh so original. Pr- pretty groundbreaking. You know what's always You know what's always the best too? The best is whenever some fucker like Rice Gum does it. <laughs> and he, you know for a fact he has paid every single girl. Oh, to none be of them want to be there. None of them want to be there. None of them want to be there. And he and it's just him too. And he's going to town. He's like I hope I hope that afterwards like fucking rapping. I I hope that afterwards he goes he goes, Hey, uh 
I'm ordering pizza. Does anyone want to, I don't know, maybe join? And they're like, oh, we got to uh, go, out. man. We got to go. I'm sorry. We got, we, we actually, all got a party actually, to be go to from a mutual friend. And it's just, <laughs> no, no, it's like, no, it's like they don't even tell them it's a party. They're just like, yeah. So, uh, yeah, actually I ordered pizza at my place and I invited <laughs> everyone else. And they're like, oh, can I? And he's like, can I join? And they're like, ah, we oh. only ordered an, ah, we only ordered Literally eight. one slice off. I wasn't I'm expecting so you sorry. to come. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I made a whole video about music videos, and it, fuck no, I think it's my, I think my, I think it's my least viewed video to be honest. But I did it? Uh, that video. Yeah, I think did. Oh, I remember you saying like a. Yeah, and I got into an argument on, about someone with, about Lil John on Reddit. Someone on Reddit was Ew, mad at Reddit. you about Lil John. I was just Reddit. advertising on Reddit, and then th 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 you know how sometimes you post on Reddit and you get traction, and sometimes you post and it just fucking flops and no one sees it. Yeah. Well, this just yeah. happened to be the only goddamn person to see this post. And he decides to downvote <laughs> it. He downvotes it, and he leaves this long-ass thread talking about how Lil Jon is actually, like, super important to hip-hop and all that. And I'm like, I'm not fucking buying it. I'm, ju I'm just, I'm not buying into it. Lil Jon is not that good. I don't, I, I feel like know. that's not a controversial take. Lil Jon? me. Kind of overrated. And, uh, yeah. Lil okay. John, but he made turn down for what? He did. He didn't even make that. He was just featured. Everyone's always like, that's his only good song. <laughs> it's not even him. It's like DJ Bye Snake. Now, and now, he now, just now. happens to be featured on the hook. Did we talk about this turn on, the, on the, the Big Fish podcast? I'm pretty sure we did, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. talked about Lil John, yeah. Yeah, but you just, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep. Li yeah. Lil John bad. Uh, but media worst media. Worst media that I've ever consumed. Have you guys ever Probably, watched Chasing Cameron? Uh, Chasing Cameron. Chasing, Chasing Cameron. Cameron. I don't think so. So, you guys know who Cameron Dallas is, right? Yes. Yeah. The Vine Star. He has a Netflix documentary called oh, Chasing no. Cameron. I don't and like it. It's this. the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> you is guys it like I is it is it like I have problems too and it's well, like I didn't get enough likes <laughs> on my video. Do you guys know what MagCon <laughs> is? Mad yes, Magcon. Magcon. I remember this was huge no, what back is in it? middle school. Magcon back in the day was essentially like this group of little tween Viner kids. They pretty much just like go on tour and do fucking nothing. They just go on tour, like go on stage, so and then like they just VidCon, take pictures. But for like, no, sort of. No, it's, it wasn't even that. Magcon no, it wasn't is just VidCon, meeting... VidCon. They actually do shit. Like they have like panels and stuff. Magcon Mag was literally these group of like seven to eight, just like attractive, uh, like Viner guys would just go on tour so that their like uh like I don't know h hormone filled lady viewers could just go. It was and all them. little and girls. That was it. it was all little and girls. And that was it. And they have a yeah, documentary man. about it called Chasing Cameron, and it's. It's great because the documentary, you're the entire time you're just trying to figure out who is exploiting who, because <laughs> I can't tell. Is it the kids that are being ungrateful for like all these opportunities, or right. who who have made a career by doing literally nothing, like actually <laughs> nothing? And what are or, they doing now? I don't fucking know, but the show up. is crazy because it's just like, it's just. <laughs> They are so full of themselves. There's a there's what? a part where one of them is, uh, he's like, oh, here I gotta get my Vine Kid voice. He's like, oh, uh, I had a girl come up to me and she said, uh, I'm I'm a year clean for because I'm watching your vines, and I'm thinking like, what twelve year old girl got off of drugs like a year? <laughs> yeah, ago because to because you watch your vines. Yeah. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That would make it's me want to do a, more a, drugs. I'd OD because of that video <laughs> on purpose. I would do more drugs. <laughs> it's, uh, d does this name, uh, does this name, like, uh, get your memory right? Uh, Nash Greer. Nash yes. Greer yeah. was a Matcom yes. boy. Mm -hmm. And he had that Nash whole controversy Greer. where he made some YouTube video where it was like a Q&A and essentially it was like, Something like if a girl's wearing a certain thing, she's asking for it, or something like that. I had never heard of that. It was some bro. It was why? Some, like, why really, was? Oh no, no, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. But he did say some like weird, like sort of rapey comments on like a. It was like a video on. It was some like relationship advice video, and it was the worst video ever. 
Why really was like the premise of every old vine, like 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 popular vine like that? Why was the premise always like women when they cheat is bad, but men when they cheat and get caught Epic. is also bad? It's less of like just like what is going on? Why is like it, why, I don't get why every premise had to do with cheating and it was like guys cheating good, was, girls cheating bad. I was just like yeah. this it is was fucking that, stupid. It was either that or it was like a. Uh, white people be like versus what black people be like and it was like yeah it was a lot of that too and it would always be like the dumbest stuff it's like white people when they drink water black people when they drink water and for some reason it's like crazy and i'm like they, we all drink water the, the yeah. fucking same it's like <laughs> it's like the what it would always make it like the most over the top thing for the black person it was like really low-key racist it was just racist. It wasn't even low. It was just racist. <laughs> it was just racist. Like, like it, would, like it would be like white people drink water, and the, the guy would be chugging water or whatever, and then be like black people drink water, and they'd be like ah ah, and they'd say some like horrible thing like ah ah, ah oh, racial. Watch slur. it, watch it, watch it. Be careful. <laughs> I said oh, racial slur. Oh, there you go. I said oh. racial slur. The vines. Yeah. They, they show the, the vines that made the kids it? famous, and like they don't do anything. Like what the fuck, like. It's literally, and it's kind of, it's They not, were funny and hot. It's not funny, but the, the <laughs> one, the one, like, because they always talk about, like, my mom when the pizza rolls are done, or, like, my mom when <laughs> X and Y, but then they tell the backstory, it's like, my mom was addicted to drugs, and my dad was the only daughter <laughs> addicted to drugs, so I had to live with my grandma, grandma, grandma poopa and peepa, and, like, <laughs> that's... Peepee and poo -poo, you know what I'm saying? It's so weird that, like, these kids made a career doing literally nothing just existing <laughs> that's their career they go to germany there's a there's a scene where they go to germany and the, they go to a uh, uh, fucking cologne germany and the one kid calls it colon germany and they have no fucking idea what's going on they're just like yeah so if we could save one little girl's life that's more than uh, people do in uh, like their entire lives like you do nothing. Literally Astute nothing. observation. You do fucking nothing. <laughs> You'd be doing the world a favor if you just sat in your room and you cried. Literally do nothing. Reevaluate your job life is, and look at what you're doing. Their job is, hmm, what six second video can I make today? Yeah. Literally. How can I make I an it. excuse to get it. shirtless in this I'm video? I'm going to take off my shirt. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> but guys, editing uh, what if one videos of them... are really hard. It's really hard editing <laughs> videos that are six yeah, seconds long. Yeah, six video. second fucking video? <laughs> How about try making something that's even even a minute long? I think you. That struggle. took me a whole forty five minutes. And what what are they doing? They're they probably just cro like like just shorten the video on like the default <laughs> iPhone editor. It's like you're not you're not yeah. you know reinventing the wheel here, guys. They do nothing. Know, they literally. What if one of them? <laughs> what if what if one of them just had like an insanely depressing backstory for no for no reason whatsoever? It was just like all of them are like very normal, and then another one was like, <laughs> yeah, my dad died twice. <laughs> or some shit like Twice. that. <laughs> Two times. Like some insane so like some insane thing you just would have no clue. And make it interesting, I'll give it you know, that much because that's you, you know what fuck. that you know what that sort of reminds me of, and this is a weird thing to remind me of, but like YouTube like old YouTube draw my life videos where it would be like some guy where he'd be like, Ah, I play video <laughs> games, that's all I do, and all I do is play video games and then their draw my life is my whole family died and I was also depressed. Right, yeah. I had no friends. <laughs> And then it's it's like it's like okay I'm sorry but like wow I did not ex I did not expect I, any. Of I this. played the new Black Country New Road record in front of the hose <laughs> and they all laughed at me. <laughs> they ran away. <laughs> <laughs> if I see if I made a if I made a draw my life video it would literally just consist of hey guys uh it's me Luke I had li my life was pretty easy. <laughs> it was pretty good. It's going pretty good so far. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good so far. I also love when people are like, draw my life, and they're like, man, I've lived so much life, and now, at the young age of 23, yeah, <laughs> right, like, yeah. So finally tell have my you story. Lived so far, that is like, that that's crazy. kind of the same thing when like, 22 year old YouTubers write a book. Like, what the fuck can you, like, oh my God, what do you have to write about? There's no information you need to give me about anything that you're it's, fucking doing. It's like, what do you have to tell us about? It's like, oh, back when I was in high school, things were crazy. Did you guys see the. Believe this. When I was in high school, I had to deal with the fact that I was gonna growing up once. That's literally. Like, wow, no, that's bro, you the, had to grow up? Damn, that's the so Lele crazy. Pons I bet you're the only fucking person. I had a crush. Before. I had a crush on a. I had a crush on a, a person. Lele Pond's it book didn't work out. The entire like like the the moral of Lele Pond's book is like the more famous you are, the more easy it is growing up. That's literally the moral of the book.
Like, she talked about how it was so hard before him, and then she got famous on Vine, and then all these great things started happening. Right. Like, her literal moral of the story is (laughs) the more famous you get, the easier life is. That is, like, the definition of, like, first world, like... Yeah. It is, man. Like... Just get famous. Uh, Just get famous it's, it's and it easy, gets better. Right? It's you easy. Get it's easy, guys. <laughs> I also love, like, Lely Pons had, like, a documentary, apparently, on her YouTube channel. It was advertised a ton on like a few year, like I think it was like a year ago. And it was essentially just showing what stuff Lele Pons was going through. And it was supposed to be built up to be like this really like serious thing. But like then one of her things was everyone craps on my videos and I don't know why. And it's like it's because you're not funny. Because they're fucking it's bad. You're not funny. <laughs> I don't know how it's many good. videos. Do you even? I couldn't count on like all the human being in the world's fingers how many videos have been made about Lily Pons and how bad she is at her job. And she still, she still is like, I don't get it. She's like, stop. How do you not videos. get it? She, her, what? so pretty much really? the only things that she's been upla- uh, blah, 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 uploading. So two music videos. Uh, for bubblegum and I don't know how to say that and she said check out my new podcast and then it's the documentary that uh, you guys were talking about and like yeah it's pretty much this is all in the past year she really Lucas has not uploading he's not blinking fuck I'm wait good. oh wait he's back here? oh my oh, wait, god he's back. don't do that you, shit you were, fro- you were frozen <laughs> for like literally all of a sudden you're just like you just it's stopped funny. and I, I, I was like wait a minute I'm he's here, not blinking I'm anymore <laughs> Oh, he keeps freezing. You're, you're, you're frozen still. Oh, you you freeze and come back. Yeah, yeah, you, you freeze and come back. Oh, <laughs> Jackson, no. that was really fucking funny I'm when you said like Jackson. Oh, God. when you said emphatically. No, like, He's don't not turn blinking. my name into a verb. No. Cool. Wait, I'm trying no. to see if we're gonna need some competition with the Lele Pons podcast. No. What are what are your guys like? Uh... <laughs> I just died. I like sink into the void. Luke fucking dies. What are your What are your guys' like favorite video no essays? More do you guys have like balls. Do you guys have like a favorite video essay that you co- that you go back to? It's like yeah, that was a fucking good ass like, like you know what I'm talking about. I watched this one. I you know the nerd writer. It's called the Caretaker. Yeah. Uh, the darkest album I've ever heard. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know the nerd writer. He makes a lot of uh, videos. Yeah, like yeah. That. Uh-huh. He made one. It was like uh, how. Uh, sort of controversial because uh, this comedian's sort of a fucking weirdo. But it was called How Louis C.K. Tells a Joke. And other than the part of it being about Louis C.K. and him being sort of a freak weirdo. Right. Uh, the video was good. The video was good. Like, it was interesting. Hmm. I watched this video the other day called... Um, full, full disclosure, my favorite video essay of all time is a tribute to Minecraft. But... That being said, I, I watched I watched this <laughs> I watched this video the other day and it was called "All My Homies Hate Skrillex." Did either you guys get re- get that recommended or see that? I got it recommended to me actually, but I didn't watch the whole thing. Oh, I watched the intro where he pretty much was like, "Oh, you <gasps> yes. sort of crazy." Then Skr- then Skrillex happened. Holy shit! I watched. Like I am half not. Of that. Yeah, I am not at all a dubstep fan, but like that shit was mad interesting, and it was like weird to be like like as someone from the outside looking in, being like. Damn, that man kind of fucked over a whole ass cool, kind of cool genre of music there. I never, I haven't watched it. I need to check that out. You should watch. Last, you should like, watch it. It was pretty interesting. Video essays are just like straight up documentaries, bro. Pretty like, much, yeah. Nuts. Low budget documentaries. Yeah. Like, I I watched a documentary about Slint's uh, Spiderland. It's essentially just about Slint. Like, I still have to, I still have to listen to that. I have to, I have to listen to Slint because I've n- Nick, Nick talked about it in his it, video that I was I was in. Yeah, and... it's fant- It's literally one of the most influential albums of all time. It's really? totally worth it. Yeah, I plus when I first they're from Louisville, Kentucky, so that's pretty cool. Whoa! Um, yo, yo, <laughs> hometown heroes. Luke's hoping he'll he'll freeze right here. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to think of video oh. essays. Is that their only album? Oh no, they have two. No, they have Tweez. They have they have an EP. They have a. They have two albums, but then they broke up, right after Damn. their second album. That's kind of crazy. I'm I'm adding, I'm adding it right now so I don't forget to listen to this. It's great. <laughs> it's great. It's one of the most like I I think I give it like a, Fantano scale like give it like a decent nine. Light to decent nine. Fair, you love to see it's it. It's really good. You really do. It's really good. Yeah, hey, yeah. it's pretty good. 
Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> I, I too get that reference. <laughs> I get that reference indeed, my friend. I too was there for the iDubs era of YouTube. Dude. Why does everyone have a podcast now? Yeah, we should probably stop.